Hi, it's Paul here. I'm just going to show you how to import still images into Stop Motion Pro version 8. Alright, well I took a camera out, just uh, any old digital still camera, and took a lot of shots down at a beach. And obviously I couldn't have Stop Motion Pro out there, so I uh, just captured the images and made changes uh, while I was there and captured them. So now I've got a whole lot of still images. And what I want to do is import them into Stop Motion Pro and see how the animation looks. So the first thing I'll do is just hold my mouse over one of those images because I want to get the dimensions written down. So uh, I've filmed those at 2784 by 1568. So after I filmed the shots, I came back and I've just put them straight onto my, my desktop. Now in Stop Motion Pro, I'll go File and create a new production shot, and I'll call this Beach Shot. Click OK. Now it's asking me uh, what I want to, uh, what sort of camera I want to use. I don't want to use a camera, so I'm just going to use No Capture Type Set. And what I'm presented here is with the the frame height and width, and this is the size of the images I'm going to import, which is uh, in this case two seven. 8, 4 by 1, 5, 6, 8. If you're using uh, Stop Motion Pro Action or Action Plus, you do have a limitation and the size can be a maximum of 800 by 600 and Stop Motion Pro will resize the images. I click OK, then File. I need to bring those images in, so Import Individual Files. I put them on the desktop in a folder here called Import Images. Now, there's quite a few different image types you can use. These are TIFFs, but you could use JPEGs or even RAW files. And I'm going to use the Shift key while I select the last frame. So the first frame and the last frame, I've just selected all those. I click Open and I'm presented with a list of the files. I could reorder those now, but Stop Motion Pro automatically sees se sequential numbers like this and will easily uh, manage that and really I'll just click OK and the files will be imported. Come back in a minute. So those files have been imported. Uh, I can see an image up here on the screen. If I press play I'll be able to watch the uh, animation now. Oh it's going pretty fast there uh, at 24 frames a second. So what I'm going to do is right click on this option here and I'm going to change that to 12 frames per second and that'll slow the animation down into something a little more watchable. You can see there's a few little issues there like my knee being in shot. Uh, and that's quite easy to rectify using the things like the rig removal tool in Stop Motion Pro. Now we've got another tutorial which shows how to use this so I won't go into it now but uh, what I'm highlighting here is all the usual tools that you have in Stop Motion Pro are available to you even though you haven't used a camera with live view. So you can start creating uh, audio tracks and do work like that. Now you have those frames imported. Great, thanks for watching.